Is caffeine going to decrease my chances of having a baby? Is a question that I get asked very often. And the short answer is yes. There is a lot of information, a lot of evidence in the scientific literature these days talking about the impact of caffeine in the form of tea, coffee, soft drinks, you know, even some supplements have caffeine in them. So it's really important to read labels and make sure that you are not consuming something inadvertently that could be impacting your chances. The, the impact of caffeine on sex cells is pretty clear. It also has been shown to decrease the ability of the body to balance reproductive hormones. It leaches minerals and, and vitamins and nutrients out of the body. Um, it has been shown to increase oxidation in sperm and destroy some of the production, the healthy production of, of, of sperm health and sperm cells. So it's definitely something that you want to be looking at when trying to conceive. Now, absolutely, in my opinion, and this is the recommendation that I give to my patients on the Natural Fertility Breakthrough Program, is avoid coffee altogether. Because I know that that will be one simple thing, one simple self-care step, step that people can take to really improve their chances and improve their odds of creating a healthy pregnancy to term. There's also been some evidence that coffee ha has an impact on the ability of the embryo to implant in the uterus. So it has a multi-pronged effect and it is a psychoactive drug. It changes the way in which the brain responds and operates. It creates anxiety in the system. It's, it definitely is not something that I would recommend when you're probably already experiencing some anxiety anyway. You know, some of our patients in the practice, most of the patients that we see have been infertile for two years or more, have um, experienced recurrent miscarriage for a long period of time. And those feelings and emotions of, you know, kind of moodiness and anxiety and irritability are already something that, I, that is happening for them. To add coffee to that equation is literally just to kind of fuel uh, that whole, and exacerbate that whole, those feelings and emotions a whole lot more. So it's definitely best to avoid it altogether wherever possible. I hope that helps and until next time, bye for now.